Well, he yields back. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So this markup, it's about Hunter Biden. It's not about President Trump. I keep hearing my colleagues on the left talk about President Trump and that no one is above the law, and I keep hearing this argument ad infinitum. I guess what they mean is that no one is above the law except for when it comes to President Biden's son, Hunter. And Hunter Biden should not be given special treatment. He defied congressional subpoena and should be treated like others who have done the same, plain and simple. See, Hunter should not be treated with kid gloves. This man is 50 years old, literally. He's a grown ass man. Congressional Democrats held Steve Bannon and Peter Navarro in contempt of Congress for not complying with congressional subpoenas concerning an investigation to January 6th. Hunter had every right to appear and plead the fifth, and he chose to defy the subpoena when he instead held a self-serving press conference right at the steps of this building. When Democrats issued subpoenas to Republicans during the House January 6th investigation, President Biden said, and I quote, I hope that the committee goes after them and holds them accountable criminally, end quote. Okay, all right. Now let's do Hunter, and that's why we're here. Hunter Biden makes arguments of passion to excuse his behavior. His best defense is often time to make the public feel sorry for him. That's right, we should feel badly for him because he personally enriched himself because of his last name. And again, the left wants us to treat him with kid gloves, and this man is 50 years old. Please, your daddy's saving you at this point. It ain't going to work here anymore. He should not be given special treatment because he thinks he's an American prince. And I don't mean purple rain. A witness does not get to decide his preferred method of appearing before the committee. The committee that subpoenaed the witness does. That's how this place works. House committees not in the business of letting witnesses dictate to us the type of, uh, type of depositions or hearings that they want to have. This is not a kangaroo court like President Trump is seeing in the New York trial. It's up to the committees to determine the best methods that will further their investigation, and rather that be through deposition, transcribed interview, or public hearing. This is our job to do that, and Hunter Biden does not get to dictate that to us. And with that, I yield back the rest of my time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would, the gentleman will yield. I appreciate the gentleman yielding. I just want